So of course you know, before I cut a steering shaft and put it in, I got to make sure this thing works. And I've seen a few people on YouTube kind of demonstrate this, so I thought, eh, eh, I need to check. I need to check, and make sure mine's going to work. So what I did was, uh, I've rigged up a little rig here, like this. And I want you to be able to see down here, this jack thing weighs, oh, I don't know, 75, 80 pounds. And I've got this hooked up. I'll explain the wiring later. But I couldn't pick that up almost with one hand. But if I can keep this shaft straight, I'm using a little short pair of vice grips. You can see I can, I can lift that up literally with an easy turn. Uh, let me get you. Let's see if you're able to see my hand on the steering column when I do that. See, this is a short set of vice grips. This is where your steering wheel would go. And you can see that's an easy turn right there. Now, if I unhook this, if I take the power off of it, then, yeah, no, there ain't no way that's going to happen. So I know that's working. It's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, I know it's working. So let me tell you about how I got it wired. The white wire on mine goes to the hot side of the battery. Now I put a fuse in the middle of this just in case. There's one little short wire and for me it's the black wire that's closest to this wire that heads toward the, uh, the steering thing. See there's two or three wires down here that aren't hooked up but this little black wire is hooked to uh, my hot post also. And when I put this on that, see I've got a fuse here too. You can hear this thing click. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on there. You hear that little click? Ain't a very big click, but that tells me it's working. And that little test that I just did tells me it's working. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, all of this stuff can come off. In fact, I've seen Jeff's. He's got his taken off all the way to here. So what I'm going to do is the same thing, uh, and I'll, I'll show you all more when I get to that. So the next thing I'm going to do, and Jeff explained this to me because he's had his apart already, is you see how this little piece of metal bends down over that shaft? Well, that's got to be bent out, and there's one there and one there, and there's a few of them. All those have to be bent out so that that shaft will slide out past this. And the next thing that happens after that is there's a, a C-clamp down in here. It has to come out. So what I'm gonna do is just, uh, just bend, first I'm gonna bend those little tangs out. And basically that just means getting my screwdriver in here behind them. I need a smaller screwdriver. This little one might be enough to do it. Yeah, that works. See, I'm just getting this right behind that and just bending it out. See, this one here is bent out already. Jeff bent that one out. So The trick to that is getting a screwdriver small enough to slip in behind that and pull that out. We'll do the same thing right here. Now we can work on getting that C-clamp out. So the little C-clamp is right in there. And I've got a tool that should be just about right to reach down there and spread that out so we can lift it out. So here's a tool I'm gonna use right here. You can also do that with a, sometimes you can get a, a point of a screwdriver down in there and pop these loose which I might wind up having to do if these don't, this don't work. Okay, I'll show you this too, because sometimes if you've never done it, it's hard to visualize. And maybe you can see, that, see how the tip of that screwdriver is up underneath that clamp. Now what I'm gonna do is stick another screwdriver in here and try to raise that clamp up. Like, <clears throat> Of course, any of y'all that's ever done this kind of stuff, and you probably have if you've done much 
mechanic and I'm going to get this one under here so then I can prize that one up and start it working out of there. I'm also moving this other one up underneath it as we go. See if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, like that. See? Now that's the clamp right there. Now this shaft should pull out of here now. Uh, I might not be strong enough to pull it out without some kind of help. Uh, and also, this part here can be driven off of here now too. There's a bracket thing on the motor that I'm putting this vise on. And I want to mention that because I'm not putting it on the, the motor gear part itself. Actually, this is probably the motor and that's probably the gear part. But mine had a bracket still on it. I can put the vice grip on without being on that. Now, I've seen, uh, I think that uh, Jeff hammered his off with a hammer. And this part will actually come out too. Uh, I might want to... Go ahead and get the shaft out first. I could probably put this on here and then put a something over that and hammer that out. Now you see how that's coming out? Yeah. See this slides up into a shaft that comes out of that. That gets this off of that. Now, this thing comes off similarly. And I think I can just hit that with a hammer. Now it's my understanding that this can be gotten off too. Uh, Jeff got his off. Uh, there's a little crack right here where this pushes up onto that. I believe I would rather have mine off if I can get it off. Now when I hit it just now, you see how I widened the crack right here? I'm going to go ahead and cut this here. Keep in mind, there's a shaft inside here that I don't want to cut, so that's why I'm being so uh, kind of careful with that. I don't want to cut anything that I'm not supposed to be cutting there. And I don't know if I got my cut straight or not. That's not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Okay, 
So now, I've got a much smaller piece of equipment to work with here. So, now what I'll do is, there's a mount right here. See these screws, one, two, three. Well, I can probably use this mount to mount this thing when I get ready to mount it to the frame. I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna look from here, but I'll figure that out later. Uh, this is the part, the long part, is the part that goes toward the steering box. Now this is, I mean, no, that's wrong, steering wheel. This is the part that goes toward the steering box. Right here. Now, let's see what I have. For over here, I have this shaft that is hollow. This shaft is hollow for literally that far. Literally, it's hollow all the way up to up here. So I could, I could cut this tip off up here, or I could cut it anywhere down in here, slip this shaft onto that, and join that to the shaft that comes out of the uh, firewall to the hot rod. This shaft, no, I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm right, that goes to the firewall. So this shaft is the one that's gonna go toward the steering box. And for it, I have, I have this joint right here, it fits that. So uh, there's a joint in the Studebaker where it, it comes off of the shaft and it's, it's got a long piece in it and that long piece is anchoring. I'll show it to you when I get down there. My thinking is if I anchor this box to the side of the frame, put this on here, then I've got my joint here and I've actually, I can actually make this shorter here, this part of this. And then I can attach that uh, to whatever I have to or can attach it to up toward the other box thing. No, that ain't right. No, take that back. Okay, this part literally goes right into the steering. So I may have to doctor up some joints, but basically if I can attach this right into the steering and then when I come off of this, I'm gonna have to go down there. And I'm either gonna have to bring Studebaker up here or take this down there and steady on it. And uh, I think what I'll do is cut y'all off, ride down there and take this with me and then just look at it.